Hello and welcome or welcome back to the boss house. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Bo and this is my journey to get out of debt and find stability as part of a blended family that doesn't share bank accounts. I budget by paycheck using the Budget Moms printable workbook. I post at least weekly and if that's something that interests you, please like this video, subscribe and come back again for my next video. I appreciate you so much. All right, let's get started. This is my monthly where did my money go for February. Um, I'm actually going to go through a couple different pages. I really like this part of the Budget Moms workbook and uh, this is how I check in with myself to make sure that I'm staying on track. So let's get started. Okay, my starting balance was $26. Um, and then I earned $2,256.27. I had other income of $273. I used $570 of savings, which brought my total monthly inflow to $3,125.27. For how everything went, I pretty much stayed on track. Uh, the main differences were if you'll see here, the train pass did not come out of my account, so that was $75 less than I expected, but that's okay. I still set the money aside for it. And then, of course, I spent less on fuels, $86.38 less than I expected on fuels this month. Dining out, $12.51 less than I planned. Groceries, I went over budget, and that was $22.99 more than I planned which is not my favorite. I spent $30.72 unbudgeted and uh, for short-term expenses, I went $4.04 over budget and that was on an impulse buy of a piggy bank that I have not gotten yet, but should come tomorrow or the day after. And then for long-term sinking funds, I went more over what I planned by $1,000.49 Oh, $1,049.18, which is a skewed number because part of this was reallocating funds from a different sinking fund. Um, I didn't know how else to, to do it. So it was reflected in the savings used and sinking funds spent. Um, but anyway, that is how I did. And I'm actually very happy with this. Like this is this is me staying on track, um, going over a little bit, like a little bit here. These these three items. This is really not that big a deal for me. I'm extremely happy with how that went because I still I still saved more than I planned to save. So like I'm perf I'm perfectly happy with this. Okay, so that is page one the basic category breakdown. And then page two of where did my money go is my debt and savings breakdown. And this is where, I don't know, it, where things make a little more sense in context. So for, for this, for the debt part, it's, I actually put 8.9% of my uh, total monthly inflow to debt, which I'm really happy with. Um, that is just me paying the minimums, but I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly okay with that because at least I had it. Um, and also I'm trying to beef up my emergency fund still because last month's budget, I guess. So January I went, I used my emergency fund. So I'm, I'm really trying to beef that back up. So that's okay. Um, so that was 278 total and this just went again went according to budget and that was fine and then for the savings this this went swimmingly this went way better than I expected I saved a total of $890.18 which I'm perfectly happy with $220 of that was actually from a different savings from a different savings category because I dumped my furniture fund into my um, into my $2,000 challenge. So it's a little inflated, 
but that's only $220. So I'm perfectly fine with that. 100% a-okay. Um, but yeah, so the total for February is 39 cents to subscriptions just to have that fully funded. Uh, $60.22 to my penny challenge. $78 to the $1,000 challenge. That's going to be going to my emergency fund. And the penny challenge is saving for Christmas. Uh, just like decorations and uh, activities and stuff. So, and then $2,000 challenge, which is a new challenge because I'm going on a cruise next year and I need to save up for that. So $500 went to that this month. And then $60 to registration and license and $191.57 to my emergency fund. Uh, so as you can see, the bulk of what I saved was for the $2,000 challenge. And um, I am, of course, not going to be able to keep sending like I can't I can't put this in the $2,000 challenge every month, like not even close. I don't make enough money. But this is a quarter of it. So I'm saving $2,000 clearly because it's a $2,000 challenge. Um, and this is 500 of it. So that means from February until next March, I just have to save another $1,500. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. That makes it a lot easier to catch up. Okay, so that is page two. I know I went through that a little quickly, but I feel like if I go through each number individually again, it'll just, it'll take too long and I don't, I don't want to do that to you <laughs> or myself because I have to listen to this again to edit it. Okay, so page three of where did my money go? I did not do this page last month because last month was the first month that I budgeted by paycheck. So I didn't really have it anything else to compare it to because I wasn't I didn't have the same categories I didn't have the same setup um, so it's my first time doing that so gay me um, my monthly inflow uh, went down by $516 which is fine because remember that inflow includes savings used so um, so that's 100% fine my my income, like my paychecks, um, are still above what I budget. So that's 100% fine. And then um, I think next month, I'm going to switch this so that the current month is on the left and the prior month is on the right. But just, I don't know. I I don't know why I did it this way, but it, it makes the math a little more complicated, but it, it's okay. Um, Basically, all that matters to me here is the change amount. So I think that's what puts it really in perspective here. What really changed was I did not send anything extra to Chase this month, but I did in January. So that was $194.70 less than I sent to that credit card the prior month. Um, and actually, I'm okay with this. This included um, holiday pay for Christmas and New Year, so like 100% fine. Stay the same, stay the same. This went, this bill went up. My renter's insurance went up by 28 cents. Not terribly happy about that, but you know, it's not a huge deal. This really bothered me a lot. Um, my partner totaled his car, so. Of course, even though the insurance hasn't paid out yet, they still raise my rates. So, um, so yeah, car insurance went up $66.73. And then I spent $75 less on, um, on train fare because it hasn't come out yet for this, for this month. Um, and that's going to be... I'm, I set the money aside, but haven't paid it yet. So $75 less, and that's fine. For fuel and tolls, I spent $27.18 less in February than in January. I'm a-okay with that. For dining out, I spent 
$13.19 more than in January. But again, I'm okay with that because this was under, this was still under budget. Then for groceries, I spent $79.99 more this month in February than in January. I'm not too pleased about that, but I'm really hoping that um, I won't snack so much this next month. Uh, so fingers crossed, we're hoping. And then unbudgeted. Unbudgeted was $1,172.39 less in February than it was in January, um, which is good because this was uh, tickets and a tow that came out of my emergency fund, which I was not pleased about, but uh, at least I had the money. That's what's great about sinking funds is like you have the money when emergencies happen. Um, you just gotta, you know, rebuild it back up later. That's okay. Okay, so uh, sinking funds short term, I spent, I put $122.70 less in short term sinking funds in February than in January. It's not my favorite, but I, I did what I had to do. And then for long term sinking funds, I set aside $820.79 more in February than in January. And that that's where the magic is. This is where um, this is where money grows on a monthly basis. And this is where financial stability happens. I I'd never done this sheet before. I love it a lot. Um, I'm of course not going to go through every last number on here because it would just take too long. And I'm really trying to not have my videos over 20 minutes anymore. Um, people weren't watching them. So I figured I would just, you know, I'd try to try to cut back on what I'm doing in every video. And also I have to edit them and I have really slow internet. So like uploading and downloading is super slow. I'm not, I don't know. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Thank you for hanging in there. If you made it this far, I love you. I appreciate you. You deserve financial stability and I hope you have a great day on purpose.